Hello and welcome to another video about Quant. In this video I want to talk about the latest price moves and when I want to start to buy again because I never buy at all time highs. I always wait for a consolidation after an all time high and so far I've run quite well with that. I normally do dollar cost averaging but at the moment because Quant has pumped so much I've actually stopped buying. I did a video a few days ago when we were at the all time high and I told you that I would wait probably until we get down to around $135. Now, have I changed my mind? I'm going to show you that now. Um, Quant is currently 60 by market cap. It's lost value in the last seven days after we had a huge pump and it outperformed a lot of the other cryptocurrencies. But um, now that all the others go down as well at the moment, at least today, um, Quant is going down as well. However, Quant has actually decoupled itself in the last few weeks from the Bitcoin price. Why Quant? I really like Quant because Quant is an overledger technology. They have a vision to make every blockchain speak or every ledger speak to each other. That is really visionary. And in the future, when companies will move from having traditional databases to having ledgers, you know, to having blockchains, and um, there will be a problem that they can't speak to each other. And this is where Quant will come in. Quant will allow for this interconnectivity of different blockchains and it is huge this overledger they've got partners like amazon and i think we are very early days here i see quant four or five digits definitely in a few years and this is why i'm investing i'm also invested in cardano as you know which is my biggest holding in xrp in icp and in a few others including bitcoin and ethereum but Cardano is my biggest holding and Quant is one of the projects where I see most potential, which is why I tend to do these videos as well. Let's take a quick look at Quant, the um, chart. Now, when I did the video a few days ago, we were here at, I think, around $180. I said I wouldn't buy at the moment. And by the way, if you want to buy, you know, it's, it's your decision. Please don't consider any of this here financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I just want to talk about these charts and what I see in them, but I don't want to give any financial advice and please always do your own research. Now, when I did that video, obviously I had no idea what's going to happen, but what I could see um, from the indicators at least that I looked at, I expected a correction because we were in overbought territory down here and I'm going to open that in a minute, but um, that told me that there would be something coming similar to where we were here on the 28th of July. But uh, just in summary, I I expected that. I told you I would expect that. And I said we could potentially go down to the next uh, to the next uh, support level, which I saw here at around 135. Um, I, that has changed a little bit. Now, I, I, I think that's not the level anymore that I would expect immediately. So I currently see you know, first of all, on this chart, we have two moving averages. The first one here is this one, which is close to the current price action. This is the 20 day moving average, and it's getting obviously higher and higher um, because the current price is still above the 20 day moving average, which is a good sign, which is a bullish sign. Then we have the 50 day moving average down here. These are two important resistance, uh, no, sorry, support levels. So this is what I'm looking for. This is in the first instance what I'm looking for. So we've got the 20 day moving average. I want to see here that we sub get support here in the next few days. Um, I want to see that we get support because this is now going up and up. And if this is going up and up in the next few days as well, it should drive the price up as well in a positive uptrend. So I want to see that. And if that's happening, I think we could see confirmation that the trend will continue. Um, especially as we haven't really seen or touched any of the main Fibonacci retracement levels here, like the 0.5 or the 0.618. They haven't been touched yet. So this is my first instance of support. Basically here, this level of $140 at the moment, but because it's a moving average that will change every day. So bear in mind and have a look at these moving averages. If one of, if quant goes, through one of them, I will of course update you. So if it's going through that one, the level, next level of support that I can see is here at the, and that will be a, in my opinion, significant one. 
that's the 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level. That's a big one. Um, it's generally that these 0.5 levels are what traders are looking out for. And also we can see that this actually acted as support before twice here on the 30th of July and the 31st of July. And the value or the level is pretty much at $120. So if it goes through the 20 day moving average, it will probably go down to 120. And should it go down below that, it will probably go down to the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level. And I say that because expect this to go on for another few days and it won't drop, I don't think so, in the next one or two days. But let's assume it will go on for a few more days and let's just assume it would go down to that 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level. What will probably likely have happened by then is that this 50 day moving average, the longer term moving average, which is a more important one than the 20 day moving average, um, because it indicates like the long term price movement, this will probably be at the level of the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level. So we've got two indicators here that will act as support. The first one is the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement, which is a significant and important one, and also the 50 day moving average. So that will be huge support here, in my opinion, that we will see, uh, but I don't expect it to go down to this level. This level is, is at $106 in that range. So probably like 105 in that range. Um, so obviously I can't predict what's going to happen. We can only, observe the chart and when the price does something, then we can act accordingly. So for example, if we now see this 20 day moving average go up and the price is going up as well, and we see a few green candles here, I think that we will most likely get back uh, to the upside and continue this positive trend. Um, it's crucial moment now because if I draw a line here, let me just draw that line and we just, somewhere here we can see that we are at a crucial point now one second just need to do this properly so it looks like this trend line here with today's candle it all depends how today closes i think i would love to see this continuation of the uptrend we're now breaking out a little bit to the downside here but then it's crucial, then we'll probably stay between this trend line here and the 20 day moving average. So the next few days will be very big for quant. They will decide where we are heading up or down. And depending on that, you know, if we go, if we go below the 20 day, I won't buy immediately. Then I will wait until we touch one of these Fibonacci retracement levels. But if we are seeing a few green candles, I don't think that will go down. I think then we will continue to the upside because um, well, we see the volume, we are out of the overbought territory, which indicates there is room for the upside. The only thing that makes me think a little bit is here the MACD. The MACD is actually going into a little bit of a bearish mode at the moment. So that's going red on the histogram here. Also, we see a bearish crossover here on the MACD oscillator. So it's a bit difficult. I, it's a bit mixed what I can see here. And overall, because the MACD is actually going negative and we're actually breaking out of this trend line here to the downside, I think we could actually see a correction below the 20 day moving average. So I want to wait what's going to happen. Um, but really, or oh, in the long run, it doesn't really matter if I buy now or if I buy at 140 or 130, it doesn't really matter because I will hold my quant for three, four, five years. I really want to have diamond hands with this crypto. I believe this will, you know, this can make someone financially free because we're still so early with quant and there are not a lot of coins, you know, it's not like billions and also the potential is huge. So I'll keep you updated what's going on. I will also tell you when I'm, when I'm buying, um, but I think, yeah, we just have to wait how this plays out. This one candle here that breaks out is not enough for me. I want to see how today closes and then want to wait if we are, because we're in this sideways movement, 
I can't see a clear breakout yet. And if I, if we are breaking out again above this trend line and see one or two green candles, I think for me that sort of consolidation is over. And if we see us going below the 20 day moving average, I think there'll be a, f a further consolidation. But again, that's only short term for me. I think in the long run, Quant has huge potential. This is for me personally, a great cryptocurrency. So this is everything I can tell you now about Quant. Hope you liked that update. If you did, then please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on this crypto journey, then please subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.